Oh, God, this is never the fun part. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, this... This doesn't look good. But, zombie, I hear you say. What do you mean this doesn't look good? What I mean is... This looks competently made. That's what I mean. Oh. So... Oh, God. Stretchies! Oh, my shoulders are clicking nicely. So... Good evening, ladies and germs. It is I, the Traveling Zomel, here again on another adventure to the unknown. I seem to be locked in a cell. It is currently quarter past ten, most likely in the evening. However, chances are it might also be morning. I don't know. I'm underground. So, I can only assume that, uh, yep, solid, not budging. I've been trapped underground. I'm in a room that smells as bad as it looks. I mean, the black mold is a clear indicator there. And we have quite a few things littering the room. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this was an escape room. I love escape rooms. <sighs> if only Mochi were here, she'd really enjoy this place. Well, either way, I am stuck here and there's only one way out and it's forward. What do we have? The jail cell-like door with its bars feels like a cruel choke. They're out there, always lurking, watching. The papers scattered around are filled with notes from my journey. Desperate attempts to understand what's happening. The TV flickers with static. A haunting reminder of the world beyond this room. But I won't lose hope. I won't. Damn straight. Oh, I thought I had gravity. So, what is this? Some kind of statue? It looks like a collectible from that one there game, Conker's Bad Fur Day. Hello there. Hello? Hello there. Hello there. Hello. I'm gonna leave you there for now. Oh, hold on, I saw something red. You're a screwdriver. Hmm. So we have a screwdriver, we have a folder. Oh, change log. Ah, I see, these are just patch notes. Good to know. I can't believe I've survived this long. Those things, they're relentless. I've barricaded myself in the upper section, closing a hole I found with, the red, with bed frames. It's my last stand. I can hear them scratching at the walls. I'm so close to the entrance, and I can almost taste the fresh air. If you find this note, please remember my struggle and make it out alive. I'll do my best, man. A lighter. Excellent, we have a light source. This is a chunky lighter. So let's have a look around the room real quick. That's a face. We have a screwdriver. I don't think I can pick the lock with this. The answer is no. So, don't you flicker. Can I interact with the drawers? What about the TV? Wait, hold on. I can. We have papers. Can I set them on fire? The answer is no. Oh. A key. Okay, so we have a key. I want to consider all my options before I consider leaving this room where chances are a horrible monster is going to rip my face off. Can I interact with <laughs> this at all? No, there's no screw points. So we have a screwdriver, a key, a light source, a statue that says hello. Hello there. Yes, hello. We have a face, that's creepy as shit. I think the only thing I can- hold on. No, I can't interact with that. So I think the only thing I can really do right now... Well... Is that. Now the thing is... It doesn't give you things if it doesn't want you interacting with them. I believe that this is something I want to bring along with me. Problem is, I've only got two hands. 
and I know that screwdriver's gonna come in handy sometime. Let's peek outside the room, though. Well, that's not good. Okay, so something tells me that I cannot quite go that way without... Yeah, I can't go that way. Maybe I could duck under this? But even then, I don't have a key. There's no point going that way. That's sealed. Doesn't look like a screw I can use. Okay, so I think I need to go that way at some point, so I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to come back for it. And, instead, I'm going to take this with me. A haunted statue isn't as useful as a screwdriver to me right now. Hello? Moshi Mosh? There's a valve that probably turns off the liquids. We have a key that will allow us to most likely get through the door. Now the problem is... Again, I'm not sure what's entirely necessary, but I'm going to move this for now. I'm going to put this by the door. And now... God, the state of this place. Is it some kind of bunker? All the portraits are the same. What's up with the portraits in this place? What are you? Doesn't do anything, just a fixture. I don't know why a light is flickering. Well, flames can flicker. Whoa! That's not good. I don't need the lighter at the moment. Actually, can I? I'm gonna put that here for now. I can leave that on. Can I reattach this? Actually, hold on before I do anything. Let's see. Data. Wait, no. Date. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, you. I'll see you Thursday. Them critters down here. Don't know what they are, but they've been busy gathering stuff. Trash. Bits and bobs. You name it. Noticed they're sort of building nests out of the junk. Not sure what they're up to, but it ain't exactly comforting. Saw them scurrying around with their loot, sneaking into nooks and crannies. There's something calculated about it. Like they're making homes out of the scraps. Can't shake the feeling that it's more than just a nest. They're up to something. They have to be. I ain't sticking round to find out what. Them critters, their nests, gives me the creeps. Feels like they're planning something and I ain't about to be part of whatever scheme they got going. Gotta stay sharp, keep moving, and leave these nests and whatever they mean far behind. Well. Okay. So this has snapped. Can I reattach it at all? No, this just comes off. So we have a broken fucking valve now. What do we do with you? Am I able to attach it to anything here? I don't know. Housing? That's housing? That's a cell. We're missing something. That's awfully bright. Screws. Here we are. Scrap. It's always good to have a replacement valve. There we are. I don't know how useful this is or isn't going to be, but I'm going to bring it with me. Come along. So many books, so many papers. This must have been a research facility. A research facility or a bunker or both. Or just a giant sewer, but again, sewers don't have cells. Makes no sense. On the bright side, there's no residue. Barrels, and it looks like water. Looks like we have a leak. Alright. I'm taking the statue with me. Let's go. 
I'm less inclined to bring you with me initially because I've already used the screwdriver. But it would be a shock if it only had one use. That's not a good sound. Well. Oh. Another note. Okay. Never neglect your tools, kids. Never know what will save your life. Oh. It's been days, or maybe weeks. Time has lost all meaning down here. I've been haunted by those shadowy entities. Their whispers echoing in my mind. Every time I close my eyes, I see their faces. I thought I was losing my sanity, but I know I'm close to the entrance now. Just a bit more, and I will be free from this nightmare. That is light. If I had any skill in my ability to climb, I'd ascend, but I just don't have that capability. Hello there. Hello. Let's keep moving. Main pipeline district. This is a sewer. Oh, it's deep. It's very deep. Seems like we're traveling further down. And what I'm gonna do is... Just jam that in there. Oh, well, you know what they say about long hallways. Let's go. Oh, I hated how the music changed there for a second. Oh, I don't like that. don't like this. What is... Hold on, is that a light? It's just a wall light. That freaked me out for a moment. But this... This is creepy. I'm not sure what your purpose is, but I'm gonna find it. Now... Oh. Something tells me I really don't want to touch the water. There's a valve there. I could probably reach it. Oh my god, there's a few. So, what do we have here? So, gate, power, redirect? Gate power redirect, and there's four lights, there's multiple valves, I get the feeling that I need to reduce the water pressure in order to enable the gate to open. That's my guess. And the thing is, something must be living down here, there's no way there isn't. So, how dark is it without this? Honestly, not very. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to... Hop. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, put that there. There we go. That's one. The light is green. Okay, I'm correct. Oh. Oh. I shall be right back. This water looks like blood. I'm going to admit it. <laughs> Hopefully that won't fuck up the pipeline. But for now, we have places to be. Shit to do. And I'm going to trust I don't need the flashlight. No, I, I should not say that. I can't run off trust. Bring light. What are those noises? I don't know. Oh. There's one down there. And there's one over there. 
but that doesn't explain the fourth's location. If I were a betting boy, and I don't often gamble, I'd say our fourth is that way. And so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly hop over here. What the? I can't keep running forever. I'm exhausted. Physically, mentally. These shadow figures keep whispering, taunting me. But I finally made it to the entrance section. The entrance is so close, and I can see the light beyond the cracks. I won't give up now. Good. Keep going. There's two. Oh. Oh, God. I hate how absorbently soft my pants can be. Come on. Three. Oh, now this looks like something I'd be running away from. God, I hate this. Careful now. Down here somewhere, come on. I know you're here somewhere. Then. Let's have a quick peek. It must be ten in the morning then. Because there's no way that much sunlight comes from ten in the fucking evening unless it's summer. We need to go. How do I get the feeling I'll just let something in? I hope I haven't just let something in. However... There is... No way but forward through there. And I can't reach that ladder. Well, no, I can, but unfortunately... No, I can't. Waterlogged pants aren't letting me jump that high. All right. Okay. Let's go. Hello. Gate power redirect. Okay, we're definitely getting close. Okay. You know what? I'm going to leave these outside the door, as I get the feeling that what I need is to run that way. So I'm going to put you here. Wait there. I'll be back. God, this place is freaky. That's what you get from a sewer system. I genuinely believe now this is a sewer. Well, only one thing for it. wasn't the sound of water. I think I need to get going. Yeah. Abandon the screwdriver. Its use is over now. I just hope I don't regret that decision. Please be open. Do not look back. Do not look back. Do not look back. I'm almost there. Ooh. Oh. What the... Oh, I shat. <laughs> oh, that was spooky. Holy shit. Oh. Hello. Oh, that. That was actually really scary. I'm gonna put you there. And you, my little doll. Hello there. Hello, I'm gonna put you... Oh, you've fallen. So, that, my friends, has been Tenebrous Legacy, created by 
Salinavaro. Or Salinavark? I'm gonna guess that's a C. Salinavark. Or Salinavark. Selena, yes. And, as you can see, I still have this little friend. Hello there. Hello. I get the feeling that, um, the map creator might have voiced this, but I'm not too sure. So, I liked this a lot. This map had good ambience, had me looking around, exploring, guessing what's happened here. The lore is a bit thin at times, but then again, maybe I just missed a couple of notes. I think I did my best to kind of look around. And, yeah, I think we escaped up until the last moment where, just like every anime trope, we tripped on a rock and, uh, whatever might have been chasing us probably got us. I don't know. Details are kind of sketchy, but for the most part, it is still a wonderful map. The atmosphere was great. It had good interactability. The notes were... The, the notes were intriguing. I, I was hooked. The creatures and their nests, I wanted to learn more. I thought I might be finding some of them, but I didn't. And maybe even figuring out the fate of some of the people. However, I can imagine that they probably either escaped or died. There's no in-between. Well, I don't know. Maybe they became one of the monsters, actually. Food for thought. The horror, though, again, we I don't know what the monster is, and that is generally one of the most scary things you can do. This is a good map. I like it. It didn't show off the monster to an extreme degree, and there was no horrible amounts of jump scares. It was generally tense. If you want a good ambient horror that actually makes you feel like you're being hunted, this is one. Definitely check it out. It's good. I'm still unsure of the purpose of this, though. Hello there. Hello. I figured it might have some interactability if I brought it somewhere, but I could never figure out exactly where this needed to be. Maybe, maybe it protected me from the monster, I don't know. But, I have it now, and who knows, maybe I'll see it in the further Tenebrous maps, as, believe it or not, there are more. I liked this map a lot. And I look forward to seeing more of Tenebrous, which I will be sure to have Mochi with me. Again, Mochi is currently unwell, and she will be back in the horror scene as soon as she is able. For now, though, please check out Selena and their other works. They've done lots of work, and honestly, just from this one legacy map, it's wonderful, and I'm happy to see more. I'm going to see more. Please check them out, send them some love, give them a wave. They have a Twitter back there, which is this one, I believe it's Twitter. They also have a Patreon, please check out their Patreon. For now though, I have been the Traveling Zomble. Mama Mochi would also have been here, but again, circumstance and her well-being. But be sure to subscribe to Mama Mochi, she deserves all the love in the world, and she has a project in the works right now as well. I've been enjoying watching her slowly edit. She is an amazing editor, and quite frankly, she is better than me at editing. But if you also want to send me a subscription, maybe a hello in the comments, I'd love to see you there. After all, nearly at 100 subs. I'd love to reach 100 subs by the end of the year if I could, but, I mean, if I don't, I don't. As long as you watch the video, I'm more than happy. I believe, though, that this is where I get off. Once more, I've been the Traveling Zombie, and I thank you all for watching to this point. Please have a wonderful evening. And I bid you all farewell for now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to find a way out. Hello there. Yes, hello.